What's going on champs and champettes? It's FireMonkey here. I just woke up like an hour ago, but when there's Fortnite news, there's a video to be made. So with that said, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. And in today's YouTube video, we'll be talking about a hotfix update that got released a little bit earlier today that Epic Games never announced. So I could do another one of these titles where it's like the Fortnite update Epic Games didn't tell you about, you know, just kind of a clicky title without being clickbait at all. Just one of those glorious lens. Anyways, with that said, we had a hotfix update, of course, that happened earlier today, and with it, they actually actually vaulted an item that we had this season and replaced it with a new item. You know, they never like announced that they were vaulting this item or anything. They didn't even mention it in their news feed or anything. And they only ever announced that a new item was taking its place through the in-game news feed. So it was all just a little bit of a weird oddity to find happening at, you know, 9 a.m., right? Happening just out of the blue, absolutely unexpected by no one, unless what I'm seeing right here, which is a ping, is related to a blog post at all, which it's not. But yeah, you know, they basically kind of just shadow changed something in the game. So what was this change? Well, if you guys remember the Red Eye Assault Rifle, that has been completely disabled in Battle Royale and in, you know, every other mode. Now, regarding tournaments, they didn't disable it in those modes. So if there was an override going on to actually enable it and, you know, change like the drop rate or whatever in tournaments, there is still the chance that it's enabled in those. But everywhere else, right? If you go in ranked, it's gone. If you go in zero build, which we're playing right now, it's gone. If you go into normal Battle Royale, it's gone as well and it's just kind of poofed out of existence. You can still find it, of course, in creative and other places, but they completely disabled it from the game and just kind of never really announced that they disabled the weapon, right? Now, they did decide to replace it with a weapon, and this is a new weapon that has kind of been, you know, something we've talked about recently because an upcoming NPC boss on the island uses it, and that is the MK Alpha Assault Rifle. So the MK Alpha Assault Rifle has taken its place, and it can be found just, you know, through all the loot in the game, so from chests and everything else, and I was kind of stuck to hopefully find one in a chest, but it doesn't look like my luck's going to be on my side today. But yeah, the MK Alpha Assault Rifle has officially replaced the Red Eye as the assault rifle that's in the game, and it is interesting to see this slight change being added, right? Now, it's obviously nice to see this new version of the MK being added, so that we're actually able to enjoy it, you know, use it a little bit, figure out if it's good or bad compared to the old MK, but it still is a little weird to see them remove one assault rifle out of the blue in order to make room for this new modified one, since, you know, in the future, they are going to have to enable it anyways for, you know, the Red Eye actual, well, not the Red Eye, but, you know, the MK Alpha Mythic Drop version that was from the Jungle Boss. So it was like, okay, do we really need the Red Eye to get poofed out of existence at least this soon when we don't even have the Jungle Boss in the game? Who knows? Maybe on, like, Thursday or something, we'll get the Jungle Boss enabled. But yeah, you know, it's like, what's going on here? What is happening? What is the secret update? Well, you know, they removed an item, replaced it with another item, and the only thing that they ever did to really announce it was in the in-game news feed they were just like the mk alpha in game now right so in the in-game news feed you're able to at least get an image on some people's accounts because of course the news feed is personalized for everyone and it won't show up the same way for one person as it does another but it was still something where it was kind of just you know happening very slowly and the only real way for you to notice that this change was happening especially if it didn't pop up in your news feed which there's the mk alpha right there is to actually have it talked about by a leaker or someone else like me right you know having me around is your trusty guide to everything fortnite because you know i have seen a lot of people being upset that the red eye has been disabled because they were just recently getting used to that red eye and they were just recently being like oh you know what i actually think i'm going to be using this a lot manning it this season or whatever and then a day after, not even a day after for some people, saying that they're going to main the weapon. Boom! Out of the loophole. Just gone. Right? Not here anymore. No bueno. And since we have one now, I kind of just want to run around, find some, uh, you know, bots in this bot lobby. And there are some up here, so that should be good. And see how much damage I'm actually able to do with the MK Alpha, considering, you know, it is renamed, it is new stats and everything. So it should be slightly different from everything else. Now, another thing to mention is, if I recall correctly, the MK Alpha is using test weapon stats. So the stats we're seeing may change over time. But as you can see right there, oh man, I love the MK. I love the MK, right? I'm so glad to get the MK back. I know that some people don't like it, but the MK is my baby. I mean, just like, 
I love zooming in, I love the red dot, and you know, it just gives me such a nice vibe whenever I'm actually uh, attacking enemies with it. So I am glad to see this back in the game, but of course, you know, it's not going to be the best weapon for everyone. And I have seen some people mentioning that this is going to encourage the spray meta that's currently been going on in Fortnite or whatever, with things like, you know, the combat SMG and the drum shotgun. But it'll be interesting to see how this gets balanced in future updates and how things get nerfed, buffed, whatever else, as people continue to, you know, evaluate the weapons in their own matches and figure out if they like the current loot pool or if they dislike it or if they're somewhere in between. So today's comment question of the day, I want to know from you guys, what do you think about the MK Alpha assault rifle being enabled? What do you think about them sacrificing the red eye assault rifle to put this one in the game? Do you think both of them should have been existed in the game or do you think that there's already way too much assault rifle variety in the game right now? So just having one sacrificing the other is perfectly fine. And what else do you think is going on with Fortnite, right? How are you just feeling so far about this new season? Especially Especially after everything we've talked about and whatnot. Now I am going to kind of end this video here soon, but I want to go over here and of course find another bot because I want to try out the MK Alpha Assault Rifle just on some more enemies, so you guys get like a little bit of a live reaction or whatever. And the bots are underneath the bridge. There are the trolls under the bridge. Hello there. So as you can see right here, can you, hey, can, can you peek around? Oh, oh my, okay, okay, I see you peeked around. Thank you, thank you, thank you for peeking around. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I think the weapon's not that bad. I think the weapon's pretty cool, in my opinion, and it does uh, quite a bit of damage, you know, you just gotta make sure you got the proper aim with it and everything, but yeah, I'm happy to see the MK back, but I am a little confused and concerned about the red eye being disabled, because I felt both of those kind of, you know, should have just existed at the exact same time. With this said, however, I hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you did, consider subscribing and support the content I create, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another upload. Peace out.